A lot of people want to make money with day trading, they want to make money with Forex, or they want to make money with one of these simple hacks that are put to you here on YouTube. I'm here to explain why it is so hard making money day trading, making money with Forex. Now let's be clear, there are some people who are making millions of dollars doing these things. But for the average person, it usually spells disaster. And I'm going to talk to you and I'm going to explain why it is so hard to make money doing these things. If this is your first time here or you want to learn how to make some money, go ahead and grab my course, 30 Days to $2,500. It is going to teach you how to set up your side business and how you can make some money. Links below, or you can go to hustlerskungfulifeskills.com and get the course. Let's have a conversation. There are many people who want to make money in the stock market, who want to make money with Forex, and there are some people who are doing it, but it's extremely difficult and challenging, and I'm going to explain why. The best way to make money is to offer a service or a product. It is the simplest, it's the easiest way. Why is that? There is a value exchange. You do something for someone or you sell something to someone and it's tangible and they can realize it and they can appreciate it. Forex, you ain't doing anything for anyone. You're rent seeking. And rent seeking is getting money for doing little or nothing. That's essentially what you're doing. So another reason it was so hard for people to make forex money and forex or day trading is they have no money. If you want to be a good day trader, because you know there's these challenges here on YouTube where I'll start off with a trading, small trading account and build it to 20, 30, 40, 50,000. I want you to understand that these people who are doing this are exceptional. They're not normal. There's a reason that most people and I've looked it up, most people who try to do Forex and try to day, day trade actually fail, the majority. Also, it takes a different kind of mindset because if you're gonna day trade or you're gonna do Forex, you really need to be in the proper mindset. And now I know I will have people who would chime in, I'm getting no pips, pips paying my bills. And there's these YouTube channels, you know, we take profits and all this other stuff. I want you to understand that when you enter into that realm where you're trying to extract money out the system without adding value, you're literally pushing a boulder uphill. There are some people who got the muscles, they can do it. The average person that just doesn't work out and they don't understand the game because this is how the world works. When you give people something of value for their money, it is so easy. It's so easy. This is why eBay sellers, you know, the eBay seller collection, the eBay seller niche here on YouTube is rather large because they're going out, they're finding products and they're flipping products on eBay or a service business. The fastest way that if you're, you're broke, you don't have a lot of money, the fastest way that you can make some money really, really quickly is to start a service business. And literally, you can start a service business today and get paid today. The other day, I had someone out here cutting down a tree in my, a dead tree in my yard. Um, it, he was on sale, it was only like 900 bucks. Last time I had a tree cut down, it was like 2000. So when he gave me that quote, I snatched it up. But Part of the value, you know, it was like the tree got cut down, he got paid. So many people are trying to cheat the system and they don't want to give anything. And like I said, there are exceptions. There are people who are making a lot of money day trading. There are people who are making a lot of money Forex. How many Forex billionaires are you see? How many billionaire day traders do you see? I mean, really think about that. Right now, the Mars family, the billion dollar family, multi-billion dollar family, they sell candy bars. 
You like got a little sweet tooth, you go in the convenience store, you go to the grocery store, oh, get one of those bars, they get paid. One of the things you need to do is to reorient your thinking, because I, I know people, I mean, it's, it's seductive. It's very seductive to sit at home on your computer and move some stuff around and make money. And it's extremely seductive. You don't have to have any inventory. You don't have to have any products. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to do anything. You just in the comfort of your own home, you can make money. It is extremely seductive. And that's why you're going to fail. When I talk about changing your mindset and becoming a, cre a creator or a producer, let's make no mistake about it. You're going to have to work hard. You're going to have to put forth effort. You're going to have to meet people. You're going to have to deal with customers. You're going to have to deal with clients. But that is so easier and it's also easier to scale. If you want to scale your Forex and get your pips going, you're going to need a large account. If you want to scale your day trading, you're going to need a large account. And this is one of the things, like I said, you know, uh, there's so much information out there. There are so many people who are trying to do this and it is very, very, very hard because you don't give any value. There is no value exchange. And if you're participating in a extracurricular activity that there is no value exchange, expect it to be stunningly hard. The world wasn't set up that way. And this is one of the problems that, you know, this is one of the reasons that the middle class in America got raised. You used to be able to literally work your way up from the mail room or janitor to VP in these companies because there was a pathway. Then some smart MBA is like, you know, if we go to the third world countries, man, and we move our factories there and pay those people a little bit more than what they're used to making for the same product, even with shipping costs, we save so much money. Let's move our factories to China. First, we went to Japan and now we, we're in Japan. We know we're in China and Vietnam because those folks ain't used to making no money so we can get them for cheap. Get them for cheap. So they're over there making this stuff. Like, this is one of the things that a lot of people like to do in the Amazon FBA space. They like to hire a VA from the Philippines because they can literally pay them 600 bucks per month. We got people getting that for un more than that uh, per week for unemployment. And they want to take, ex you know, uh, extrapolate the value out of the lower economy because they're like, this is one of the things. And going back, to Henry Ford, who paid his factory workers enough money where they could afford the product that they were building. That is a lost concept. Everybody's trying to rent, rent seek. Everybody's trying to secure the bag. I want to secure the bag, baby. I'm a millionaire, soon to be a billionaire. There's this one clown here on YouTube with this, let's go, talking about I'm a millionaire. And he never gets into the details of how he made money. Y'all know my story. I wrote a book. First year I made 62,000, second year I made 92,000, third year I made 1.5 million. There was a product. You got to see me on YouTube, pitching and selling. You could see what I did to get that money. I'm a millionaire and I'm soon to be a billionaire. This type of thinking will keep you poor because as long as you feel that there's a way that you can cheat the system, not put in the work, not do the things you need to do, you're going to keep looking and hoping for that mythical, magical solution versus putting your head down and doing the work. I'm here to tell you. And there's all of these things like invest in real estate by becoming a wholesaler. You're not investing in real estate by being a wholesaler. You're conducting, you're a facilitator of transactions. You'll go ahead, 
you get an assignment, you would top the property, and then you would flip that assignment to someone else. You have not invested in real estate at all. And many wholesalers don't invest in real estate. If I was a wholesaler making $250,000, $300,000 a year, I would literally take half of my yearly income, buy a house cash and rent it out. At that point, you become an investor. You gotta look at the language. Because people are like, well, I'm a real estate investor, I'm a wholesaler. You're not an investor. You have no money at risk. You don't own anything. You're not an investor. Until you do those things, you become an investor. So everybody is looking to secure the bag without the work, trying to cheat the system, trying to get around things. And there are some people who do. Right now, there are many people who are selling wholesaling courses on Facebook ads, uh, how you can become a wholesaler. And right now, I feel that that market is going to explode because there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna be in a lot of trouble. And for cash buyers, for real cash buyers, it's gonna be a party. It's about to be a real estate disco. They're gonna drop the ball, it's gonna spin around, and they're gonna play that funky disco 1970s music because it's going to be a party for those who have cash. Which brings me to my next topic. I want you to go ahead and get my money management course. Now what is this is gonna do? And what does this have to do with cash? Your income is the biggest lever you have to getting wealthy. And if you're not optimizing your cash, you are delaying your ability or getting rid of your ability to become wealthy. The money management course will teach you how to optimize your personal finances like a business, which is something that many businesses don't do. I've had many consulting clients and one of the first things I do, look at their LLC and look at their banking information and look at their QuickBooks. And I'm telling you, five to seven times out of 10, it is non-existent. They only have QuickBooks. They're not running their company's financials correctly. They're like, I mean, seriously, you know this one dude, he had an Excel spreadsheet. That's how he was running his company's finances. He did not have, he did not have enough bank accounts. He got in all kinds of trouble. And once I started to explain to him like, well, the reason that you're getting in trouble is you're not handling your company finances correctly. And you know, this, this was one of the first things I would have to do was straighten out all their finances. Because as a company, if your foundational house is weak, you can make a lot of money and still be in trouble because you're mismanaging your money. It's not optimized for success. I'll tell you about this one client I had. He had one bank account, one, and he had employees. He did not have an operating account. He didn't have, a, he didn't have none of that stuff. And I mean, it literally took me two months to get this dude financially straightened out to get his LLC stuff going. And also, this was the craziest thing. He had a bank account, but he also had one of these net spin debit cards. He was using that debit card. He was receiving money on that debit card, the account attached to the debit card to run his business. I was like, boy, if you don't get out here with that debit card. And he was making some good money. Most people are not educated in finance. Most people have no clue what a balance sheet is or how to properly run their company's financials. And this is why I'm giving you 30 days to 2,500 so you can start making some extra money so you can learn these lessons like I learned these lessons. I want you to be successful. And you're not gonna be successful if I were to lie to you. This is why I'm not doing these stimulus videos because they're just, they're getting a lot of views. I understand, I explained in the last video that people are desperate, people are hurting. I get it, I understand. But I am not going to mislead you with something I fundamentally know to not be true. 
Essentially, these people are reporting on potential proposals. That's all they're doing. They're not telling you any real stuff. And I would be so glad when we're past these moments here and we got a minute. Now I will say, as I said earlier, if there's a second wave of infections, there will probably be another sex, that second stimulus. And let's talk about why are people in need of this stimulus money? Financial literacy is rare in America. Richest country in the world. And we have most of our citizens who are financially illiterate. Don't know that when they buy something on credit that they're robbing the future of profit. And like all these people who are running these videos, like I'm in debt, but I'm also investing. I guarantee you, if you crunch the numbers, you're going to see that you're still coming up short because the interest that's being paid on that debt. And this is what I call stupid human tricks. People will pick whatever path that they want to make whatever scenario that they feel they want to happen. Well, I can have a lot of debt and I can be an investor. It looks good. Sounds good. If it was a cookie, it probably tastes good. But the reality is it ain't good. Hopefully this dark moment in American history will urge people to rethink how they get do their financials. Because this is one of the reasons that so many people get scammed online. They're looking for instant wealth, a lot of monthly income with little effort. I don't sell my products like that. I actually tell you that, hey, if you start a business, you know, you're looking at a year to three years to really get it rolling. And because I'm honest, I get punished because I almost feel that people want to be scammed. I almost feel that they want to be scammed because they don't want to be like, look, man, I don't want to hear this mess about starting the business going to take two, three years, man. I need it to happen in a few months. You know, Big Booty Betty needs me. We got things to do. I don't want to hear the truth. And I feel that so many people don't want to hear the truth is they don't, they don't feel that they're capable. They don't feel that they have the skills to do it the correct way. And more than likely, they are correct because those skills must be developed. In 1997, I wrecked my car. I lost my job. I was going through a divorce. I was homeless and I was broke. And at that moment, it's a snapshot in time. That Glendon didn't have the skills that this Glendon has. And it was all about developing those skill sets. And one of the first skill sets I learned going back to the opening of this video is creating value by providing a service or providing a product. That is the easiest way for you to get a gang of money. But so many people are trying to rent seek or cheat the system. And this is why they they're 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 behind because it ain't working. I heard this stat. I was at a conference and these guys were talking and they bought the amazing selling machine. And that course was like $8,000 and they had a Facebook group. And do you understand that people spent $8,000 and when they had to get into the coursework and they found out that it was a little challenging, they just said, I'm good. They spent $8,000 for a product that they did not use. I was sitting there because, you know, this guy was like, yeah, man, you know, a lot of people do that. They buy the course and they never go through it. They never do it. They don't want to put forth it. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm going to spend, I spent $8,000 on something. Like I'm in the mastermind group that costs me $15,000 a year. Every meeting I'm there, every little jewel they put out, I'm doing, I'm applying it to my YouTube channels. Come on, that's just crazy to spend that kind of money and not take advantage of it. But this is people because people have been trained due to internet marketing 
that you can make a lot of money for doing little or nothing. And they'll show you, it's like, hey, Jed made $120,000 from doing these three little simple hacks, and he's on the beach. You're being sold scams because you are predicated to accept the scam and you are predicated and trained to refuse real reality. Right now, there are many, many business people who are very successful. And if they were to start a YouTube channel and start dropping their knowledge, they would not get views. Because they, you would have to take action. You would have to work hard. There are little corners at uh, YouTube where there are professionals putting out amazing information and they all put out a video and get two or 300 views because they're not skilled in the art of marketing. They know what they know. They know how to make money doing their business, but they don't know how to market their skill sets. And that's a whole art unto itself. And it's funny because people are predicated on scams. Like there's this one chick and she's been trying to figure out Amazon FBA for five years. And she's hired a VA in the Philippines. She talks about it. She's running all these tests and she still hasn't figured it out. She still hasn't figured it out in five years messing around with Amazon. I'm here to tell you, create your own brand, create your own company. It's going to be so worth it because Forex and day trading, Unless you are exceptional, unless you are a very disciplined person, it probably ain't going to work out for you long term. You may hit here or there, but you're not going to make consistent income. And this is going to be one of the most depressing things because I got a few people when I do a live stream, they're doing trading and they're not making a lot of money. They're making pretty much the money that they would make if they had a degree in a career which is kind of cool. You know, you're making money from home. You don't have to leave your house. You don't have to get in your cars. I mean, it, it, you know, I work from home. It, it, it's very possible. But I want you guys to understand, this is why forex and day trading is so hard. And it just doesn't out for more people. You could take someone who literally tried to do forex or day trading for two years and then teach them how to do resale and they'll instantly start making more money within a month than they did in those two years trying to day trade or do Forex. The easiest way to create value is to exchange a product or service for money. It's the easiest way. It's the fastest way, but people don't want to work. People have been led to believe that they can make a gang of money and not work. This dude, this clown is like, don't concentrate on the money, concentrate on the lifestyle. And go ahead and putting all this other stuff. And like I said, I still don't know how he makes money other than selling his crazy course. So this is one of the things I want you guys to do. When you see people making these crazy claims, I want you to sit and think and ask yourself, what exactly are they doing to make this money? Start asking yourself that question. What exactly are they doing? And if it's like very vague, it's just very simple or vague or crazy advice. Like don't concentrate on the money, concentrate on the lifestyle. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. You need the money for the lifestyle. And it should have been like if I was talking to this dude on the beach, I would have said, focus on the customers. That's how you make the money. When you focus on the customers, when you focus on the people, when you focus on giving the customer good and amazing products, the money just comes. Not focus on the money. Don't focus on the lifestyle. Focus on the people. So that's all I got for you guys today. So be sure to get 30 days to 2,500. Be sure to get the mindset course and also be sure to get the money management course.
because I'm here to tell you that most of America is mismanaging their money. They're mismanaging their business owners who are not properly set up. You would be surprised at the number of business owners who have sloppy financials. It is crazy. It's not set up. They don't have their corporate structure properly set up. They don't have their banking set up. They don't have their business credit set up because and it's not like they're idiots. They just don't know what they don't know. So get the money course and straighten out your finances. And I'll see you in the next video.